Hi guys, this is Adan from Will Life, and today we'll be talking about Jamuna Auto. So this is one company which is into the sector of auto industry and particularly auto ancillaries, and majorly supplies to various companies like Maruti Suzuki, Honda, uh, and Honda uh, Hero Honda. Plus, it is catering to both two sector, two two wheelers and three wheelers. Talking about the market cap of the company, the current market cap of the company stands at eighteen hundred and forty eight crores. One year ago, we made the video of the company, and that time the price of the stock was sixty-four rupees per share, and the market cap was twenty-five hundred crores. Overall, if you see, there has been a thirty percent decrease in the market cap of the stock over the last one year. The company is pretty good. As com- if you see the dividend yield, the company gives a decent dividend of around two percent on a on a yearly basis. And the institutions and mutual fund holdings in the stock are around twelve twelve. percent if you see the overall sales in the growth of the company has increased drastically from 2014 to 2019 in 2014 the sales were 875 crores which increased to 2091 crores in 2019 overall the sales of the company have been increasing at a massive rate further if we see the profitability the profitability of the company has increased by more than 12 times over the last 6 years from 2014 to 2019 the profitability has increased over 12 times so if you see in 2014 the profits were 13 crores which increased to 137 crores in 2019 similarly the earning per share of the company has also increased at a similar rate the earning per share and the profitability growth rate of the company came out to be 47% year on year whereas the sales growth rate on a yearly basis came out to be around 16% So the 2019 earning per share of the company was 3.45, and the growth rate was 47% over the last six years. So extrapolating this at the rate of 20%, because we feel that 47% is pretty damn high for any company to sustain. So if the company, if we extrapolate the earning per share of 2019 by 20% itself, by 2024 we are seeing that the company will be having a earning per share of approximately 23 over the. of approximately 8.58 over the next 5 years so if we want to find out the future expected rates of the stock and the returns that the stock can deliver over the next 5 year we'll simply have to multiply the lowest pe in which the usually the stock usually trades so there is always a pe band in which the stock trades and it keeps on moving between that band only so pe is calculated by simply dividing the price divided by the earning per share of the stock so the pe band for this particular stock lies between somewhere 14.9 and 27.12 so in order to calculate the future expected prices we'll have to multiply 14.9 which is the lowest pe of the stock by the future expected earning per share that is 8.58 we'll get that the stock can trade somewhere around 127 on the lowest side over the next 5 years and on the higher side it can trade up to 232 rupees over the next 5 years we have simply calculated this by multiplying the maximum pe of 27.12 by 8.58 that is the expected earning per share of 2040 2024 if the stock's earning per share keeps on increasing on a yearly basis at the rate of 20% further if you want to see the trade receivables in the stock we we can see here that the trade receivables of the stocks are increasing in 2015 the trade receivables of the stock was 70 crores of the uh, company was to 70 crores whereas in 2019 if we see the complete trade receivables of the stock have increased to increase to 231 overall if we see the figures are in line with the sales and that is a wonderful thing in uh, trade receivables are important to see because we need to understand that if the company is delivering or sending out money or giving uh, products to various companies it's it should receive its money on a regular basis and the money should not get stuck with clients for example usually what pe- people and in the, and companies are selling out their material uh, usually their money comes back to them within 2 months or 3 months but if your trade receivables are increasing massively that could mean that your money is getting stuck in the industry and that will yield to lesser uh, turnaround of your money and further lesser prof- profitability so t- increase in trade receivables is not a good sign 
a massive increase is not a good sign but if the increase is in line with your sales then it's a completely fine thing similarly we saw this in indian terrain also the trade receivables of the stock has uh, increased massively that means the money of the company is stuck in uh, the in, uh, in the industry for a very long period of time uh, whereas uh, what uh, i can recall is that the market cap of the company is 400 crores and the money that is stuck in the industry or people are not repaying back the money of 230 crores in indian terrains as soon as that money is received the company stock will boost up so that is why i wanted to explain uh, trade receivables Overall, coming back to this company itself, S R uh, Bartley Boy are the auditors of the company, so that is a wonderful thing here. The company, the auditors are amongst the top ten, so that is fine. Uh, further, if you see the the current stock price of the uh, company, the price of the stock of the company is forty six point five rupees, and uh, the asset base in the company stands at 1067 crores overall the book book value of the company is 12.79 and there is virtually no debt in the company so overall the company is perfectly fine the nearest support of the stock is 30 rupees and the nearest resistance is at 60 rupees and the current volumes of the stock are also pretty good so you won't face any liquidity problems also if you jump into the stock so that is what i wanted to explain about jamna auto further you can even see the operating investing and financing cash flows of the company which are managed pretty decently and the company is actually investing quite a lot of money uh, for future expansions also you can see that from uh, the minus 130 crores which it had spent in 2019 that is for expansion and all so that's a wonderful thing and the return on net worth and capital employed numbers are also excellent on the company so this is uh, this is what i wanted to explain about jamna auto industries overall That's about it for this video. If you have any comments, please feel free to mention in the comment box. And if you have any companies on which we we you want us to make a video, please mention them in in the comments box. Plus, uh, if you've not yet subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you keep on receiving such videos. And that's about it for this video. Signing off, Siddhan Goel from Finlife.